What should your D&D &D name be? Anything you wish it to be, FML. Anything you wish. Uh, if you're gonna play a gnome, have it be scr scrumptious little tits or something like that. Or wiggle tits. I don't know, something lewd that you would enjoy. Come on, park it, damn. How about blue, like, blue moon? <laughs> Scrumptious wiggle tits, he of the trash. There you go. <laughs> Mine's pretty basic. I am a half-elf, life cleric. Am I supposed to go this way? <gasps> Do not wrecked. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I think that was the science place, the laboratory. If I keep going around in a circle, I might find it eventually. And yes, I have encounter none on. Is it this way? I don't think so. I mean, who is your GM? Is he a close friend? Does he understand you? Oh, that's Blizzard. I don't want that shit. Basic bitch Blizzard. Why would they put a basic Blizzard on there? Hmm? Into the palace? Yes, please. I'm here to see the president. Oh, it's a stranger named John Gallagher. Okay. So basically, don't be yourself. <laughs> Ow. Have you even researched anything? Like the races that you could be? Are they doing 5e? Like... Come on, man. There's so many races. And jobs and potentials. Who are you? You have permission, please, this way. <laughs> I basically told FML not to be himself, and all he says is, damn. <laughs> the president is waiting. Which door, homie? Is it this one? Maybe? Hello? Oh, I sit. Okay. This fucking guy. Dr. Odine or whatever his name is. <laughs> Did we have to wait for him to leave? Where's the fucking door? Why let me in! Dr. Odine, he's still an important figure in S-Star. You don't say. Am I just being super dumb right now? Come on, man. Open the door! Let me see Laguna. Finally. All you have is a character sheet. He texted you to come an hour earlier to set it up. I mean... You might need a lot longer than an hour just to create your character. I was over at my brother's house creating my character before everything, and it literally took us three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. So, depends on how in-depth you want your character backstory to be, because you have to literally create a character and stuff. Follow Dr. Odine? Okay. Which way? Which way did you go, sir? And then, depending on your... Your GM. Or your DM. 
Like, you might have to roll for your stats. I rolled for my stats. Did Dr. Odine literally leave? I don't know. Huh. Go back in. I'm going back in there. But yeah, Femal, did you even choose a job? A race? Have you researched it at all? <laughs> Are you going to be a female tiefling? Oh, I got paid again. <gasps> it was this room! I, yeah. Ward. Kiros. They're so adorable. And that's probably... Your Faja. <laughs> Hello. What is up with this country? <laughs> Look at him run! Oh, sure. Hey there! <coughs> He's got flippy floppies. Been wanting to meet you guys. You guys are the ones who were inside my head, right? Alone told me. It was like there were some kind of waves running through my head. They gave us so much power during battle. We thought they were some kind of fairies flying over us. Wow. So I'm Laguna, President Laguna, the war of Estar. Pleased to meet you. If it weren't in a state of emergency, or if we weren't in a state of emergency, I'd talk to you some more, but well, whatever. Let's talk. <laughs> what do you want to know? You'll never get going if President Le Laguna keeps talking. Wow. Call them out. Uh, I said a female tiefling, FML. You might want to do some research before you go to your D&D session tomorrow. Your session zero. So why don't you guys throw out some questions and he'll try to answer them. Oh, I have to actually walk up to him? Okay. Man, you act- or you look way too serious. Whatever. Uh... Oh, I can ask him about rain? Oh my gosh. Uh... Wow, I'm so nervous talking to Laguna, man. Uh, let's just go down the list, I guess. Explain the mission to defeat Ultimisium. Ah, straight to the heart of the matter. Just like a workaholic seed. Oh god, he's back! Is it my turn? Yeah, make it short and easy to understand. I will talk however I want. <laughs> Ugh. Sorceress Adea told me everything. Sorceress Ultimisia comes from the future to possess the sorceress of present day. Meaning she leaves her body in the future and sends only her consciousness here. Does that sound familiar to you? It's like when alone sent our consciousnesses back to the past. You're a smart one. My first guess was that... Someone in the future with an ability like alone was sending the sorceress back here to our time. But no, that is not the answer. <laughs> this fucking guy here. So how does the sorceress come back to this time? You want to hear how? Uh, yes please. Ugh. I kept this secret a surprise to you. It is because of me, Odine. I researched alone's power long ago. I made out a pattern from the electric current running through Alone's brain. Once the pattern was determined, it was easy to mechanize. It may only be a toy right now, but in the time of Ultimisia, it is an impressive working machine. Which means there is a machine which imitates Alone's power. It is I who made the first model of that ma machine. Jesus, I cannot do his fucking accent. It's driving me nuts. I named the machine Junction Machine alone. It is a wonderful thing to know that my invention is used in the future. Junction Machine alone. Oh god, that was Squall saying that, my bad. That's about it. 
So Sorceress Ultimisia came to know about Alone from that machine. And L became Ultimisia's target. You can't blame Odine. It's useless. You want to go outside? You want to fisticuffs? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to fight you, homie. Relax. Take a deep breath. Okay, we continue this story. Let's see. There is only one way to defeat Altamisia. You must kill her in the future. There is nothing we can do unless we go to the future. There is no way to jump to the future under normal circumstances. But there is still a way. It is because Sorceress Altamisia plans to compress time. Compressing time with magic. What good will it do for the sorcerers to compress time? There may be reasons, but it doesn't matter. Let's just figure out what, or that, Ultimisia is up to. In order for Ultimisia to exist in this time, she must take over the body of a sorceress from the present. <sighs> this is draining, man. But the machine must have a limit. Ultimisia probably needs to go back further in time to achieve time compression. Only alone can take her back further into the past. That is why she is desperately seeking her. We must take advantage of alone's power. <laughs> like, take notes, Infinity. I see. Makes sense. <laughs> there are two sorceresses in our time. Sorceress Renoa and Sorceress Adele. Of the two, Adele has not awakened yet. Once regeneration is completed, neither Laguna nor I will be safe. Sorceress Adele is probably in the process of awakening inside Lunatic Pandora. Ultimisia will want to possess Adele if Adele wakes up. That will, will be a horrible event. Adele is a horrible sorceress. If Adele's consciousness wins over Ultimisia, Adele will first destroy this era. So we must use Sorceress Renoa to inherit Ultimisia's powers. That's all for the mission briefing. So complicated, man. First, go to Lunatic Pandora. Alone's probably being held captive inside, so rescue her first. Then kill Sorceress Adele before the awakening process is completed. Now we're left with Renoa as the only sorceress of this era. Then wait for Ultimisia to possess Renoa. When Ultimisia arrives, it's Alone's turn. Alone will send Renoa back to the past with Ultimisia. Alone will have to send Renoa and Ultimisia inside another sorceress she knows in the past. Adea or Adele. That's up to them. Once Ultimisia is in the Z past, she'll use the time compression magic. We will see some influence here. I don't know that kind of influence, but once Alone feels it, she'll cut Renoa and Ultimisia off from the past. Renoa will come back to this world. Ultimisia also goes back to her own world. <laughs> See ya! That would be left is the time compressed world. Past, present, and future will all get mixed together. You will keep moving through the time compression towards the future. Once you're out of the time compression, that will be Ultimisia's world. It's all up to you after that. Alright, he disappeared. Thank Christ, because I was over. Over his accent. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, Laguna, talk to me, Goose. So you were briefed about the mission? I don't really understand it either. Will you do it? I have questions, homie, that you still have not answered, okay? Uh, where's Alone? What the heck has he done with his life? Don't you wonder? When Alone was about two, there was a massive hunt for girls in Estar. Estar's soldiers came to Windhill and Elle's parents resisted. They were killed on the spot. Aww. The massive hunt was to find the successor for Estar's ruler, Sorceress Adele. Alone was raised by Rain, who lived next door, and I came to know her. Then there was mass another massive hunt for a successor in Estar again. Elle was taken away, even though I was there. It's the most painful episode of my life. So I rescued her and sent her off to Windhill. Shortly after that, Rain died, and Alone was sent straight to an orphanage. 
Why didn't you go back to Windhill with her? I wanted to, but I had my reasons. I found out about this afterward, but the reason why Alone had to leave the orphanage was because of her special power. Dr. Odine wanted to do research on Alone's special power. He looked for her everywhere. The owners of the orphanage were Sid Kramer and his wife, Adea. You know them better than I do. The Kramers took Elle out of the orphanage to protect her. They prepared a big ship to accommodate her. Gracious of them, huh? After a while, the ship turned into another orphanage and Elle looked after all the kids. She said her life on the ship was a happy one, but who knows? I don't know how she could have been happy on a ship. She was on the ship for over 10 years. Jesus. That ship was attacked by Galbadia recently. A star's ship rescued them and she finally met up with me. It was pure luck that we found her. I was out in space at that time. Alone followed me out to space. Little Elle was all grown up and she told me everything. Did she get back safely from space? Our escape pod rescue team was a little late. Alone was taken into custody by Galbadia. She's inside Lunatic Pandora. We're gonna rescue her. Help us out, okay? Phew. Uh, a couple more questions, homie. Uh, tell me about Rain. Rain story? Some other time. Maybe. No, I can't. It's too much for me to remember. Really? He won't talk to me about her? That's annoying. What are you doing here? You know what I've been doing all my life, right? You were a silly Galbaldian soldier? I didn't like your attitude at all. But I understood the bond between the three of you. Then you changed after you went to Windhill. Then Alone was abducted by Estar and you went on a journey. A journey to get Alone back. You wrote articles and appeared in movies to get by. You were trying to find a way into Estar. You somehow got into Estar and rescued Alone. Got a lot of help along the way. What I don't understand is, why are you the president? Right? Wanna know? It's a long story. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you don't have enough security clearance with Kaguna, okay? <laughs> right? What a weenie, he won't tell me. You wanna hear it? Really? Okay, I'll tell you. I only set out to rescue alone, but of course that wasn't the end of the story. It's a country ruled by Sorceress Adele with the ingenious yet inhumane Odine. Both of them were interested in alone. We couldn't just pack up and leave. <laughs> Adele would be angry. My research will be kaput. Odine only thought about his research. Oh, look at baby alone. <laughs> She's so cute. Wade's run is hilarious. Get him, Wade! <coughs> but while researching under Adele's orders, he was still making many inventions. Call him Wade. Did I say Wade? What's his name? Ward. Ward! Jesus Christ. Ward. My bad. I was close. It was a device to seal magic. Sealing facility. Maybe Adele can be defeated. I owed a big favor to the Adele Resistance who helped me rescue alone. Can't believe I said Wade. My bad, buddy. <laughs> Thinking of Deadpool, clearly. I spoke with my comrades. Two issues came up. First, Stopping the Crystal Pillar from calling monsters from the moon and destroying everything like what happened in Sentra. Second, freeing Estar from Adele's hands. We planned and planned, based on my brilliant ideas, of course. Oh, there's a bug in the... Oh my god. Go away, bug! Fuck off. Thank you. We're back. Back in the Lunatic Pandora Research Facility. Oh, 
There's only one goal. Following Odine's instructions, we operated the panel and moved the crystal pillar. We set the course and the stop point in the ocean, and goodbye. Whoa! That was easy, but we were found out. So we gathered for a final battle to lure Adele. Oh god. She's huge. Adele appeared as we expected. What's going on? We hunted down the culprit who moved the crystal pillar. Where? Inside there, alone's been taken hostage. I knew she would go in right away if I mentioned alone. Why does she look like a man? So beefy. You thought I would fall for that trick? Adele realized that alone was a hologram, but it was too late. Haha, <laughs> sucker! You got sealed. Yeah, of course. My plans are always perfect! See ya! <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Damn. Haha, <laughs> piece of cake. Adele was careless. She may be a sorceress, but after all, she was human. Beefy man human. We succeeded, but we couldn't keep such a dangerous sorceress around as a trophy. To the moon you go! See ya. <laughs> That's wild, man. We had to do something. So, we decided to send her far, far away. Someplace very far into outer space. Damn, using the Ragnarok? Oh, there's three? Man, I don't remember this at all. And that about wraps that part up. But the real work began after that. A fierce debate ensued about who should govern this country after Adele was gone. I wasn't paying close attention while they made up, made me up to be this hero of the revolution and I ended up being the president. Odin made a lot of noise about wanting to do research on alone. It was a mistake to send alone. <laughs> wow. It was a mistake to send alone, alone back to rain. Jesus. Rain died and Elle was sent to the orphanage. If I had only gone to Windhill with Elle, I would have been able to see Rain one last time. Rain was dead, alone, missing. My job kept me busy. I was left here thinking about this and that, and before I knew it, all this time had passed. Well, that's about it. Yeah. I should play cards! I, I'm going to go save it because that was a lot of chit chat. I might not be able to leave in the middle of this. Looks like you know the rules that aren't from around here. Let's get a game going with the lamb's rules and ours. Ah, uh, I guess so. Don't be scared. Open, sudden death. Okay. The open rule. That's a good thing. Okay, well, we'll have to flip the card, which is going to be the problem. But here we go. I'm really not going to save it first? Are you sure about that? Nope, but here we go. Oh my god. All you did was talk. Yeah, but I don't want to do that again. Okay, I'm just doing it. YOLO! YOLO! Where's my... Oh, there. Oh, he's... Squall 
Right, right, right. Away. right. right away. Okay. Woo. Further cements my belief that he is Squall's padre. Damn. That's a good that's a good card, actually. So what I would you know what I would try? Okay, okay, okay. Bottom right Minotaur. Let's see if he plays a slow and a He does he doesn't flip one. He did <gasps> He did the weirdest thing. Okay. Well Why would he put it there to bait me? He doesn't have any cards to flip me. Not really. Uh he'll not flip you, but he'll get to flip that back if you flip it. Is that what he's trying to do? Top, middle. There's only card you have to do that. Is, uh, Sacred. That guy. <laughs> That's wild. The cypher. Do I do it anyway? Yeah, if we're gonna go for the flip right away, then yeah, do it. Or should I wait? I guess you could technically wait and see what he does, but I don't know what to play in the meantime, honestly. Because if you play, I don't want you to play a day yet. Right. So, you don't really have a better play. What about actually twist this on the bottom left? Bottom left. Okay, we're doing it. Okay. <laughs> I hate this too. Like top right. Play sacred in the middle top. Middle top would flip the skull. Middle top. Okay. Okay. He'll probably he'll probably flip over your sacred unless he flips it down there. So if he does that, you can flip it back over to the no matter what you do. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. So sacred top sacred middle. Sacred flip over skull. Yeah. Let's do it. Sacred let's, top let's, middle. Should work out. We're if, doing it. Unless he does something. Unless he does something dumb, it should be okay. But if he does something dumb, you can just fix it. And then put a day to flip over your card back. In the middle, it's better. No matter what, you're gonna flip that over. And you're good. Oh, you didn't even. Oh, he couldn't even flip it because he didn't have anything right. good enough. Right. Well, actually, he could have from below, but it wouldn't have mattered either. Way. Give me that squall card. First fucking try. And you were worried. I was worried, yeah. First try. Aww. He's got a weird, like, cheekbone thing going on, but he's adorable. He's adorable. He we love him. Yay! Thank you for assisting. You're the best. That was basically the last card to win from the person that you that you Right, right, right. I can say let me out of this room, please. I've asked all my questions. Well, I think if you you Cause I've already I've, he, well, he said, did you understand the plan? And I think you should have said yes instead of no question. Just, uh. Oh, I guess I can say let me out of this room now, because I've already asked all my questions, no, no, and it won't let me back. Well, click the little, tell, tell me about rain, because it won't blow you off anyway. Oh, right. It's too much to remember, blah, blah, blah. And then tell Will me you do it? Rain. Yes. Okay. All right! <laughs> Linda Belcher, let's go. All right! <laughs> let's go! We'll get aboard Ragnarok. Let's do the final briefing in there. I've always wanted to ride that thing. Plus, the name sounds so cool. So cool. Oh my gosh, Ward has a blonde beard? That's adorable. All right! I need to go watch more Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Everyone, from here we go straight to our final target, Ultimisia. Let's go over the plan again. Why? First, enter Lunatic Pandora and rescue alone. Next, you fight Sorceress Adele. It'll be a surprise attack. Show no mercy. Now, here comes the tricky part. Adele will need to pass on her powers before being defeated. Renoa, will you be willing to accept them? Yes! Good. Next, we wait 
for Sorceress Ultimisia to possess Renoa. This will be hard on you, Renoa, but will you do it? Yes. That's the spirit. <laughs> that alone sends Renoa and Ultimisia to the past. Alone brings back Renoa, then head to the future through compressed time. Ultimisia lives far in the future where none of us can technically exist. There's only one way to make yourself exist in a world like that. As friends, don't forget one another. As friends, believe in one another. Believe in your friend's existence and they'll also believe in yours. <laughs> He's such a hype up man. <laughs> to be friends, to like one another, and to love one another. You can't do these things alone. You need somebody. Right, guys? What place reminds you of your friends? Imagine being in that place with all your friends. Once time compression begins, think of that place and try to get there. That's all. <laughs> get off the weed, Laguna, okay? That place will welcome you. You'll be able to get there no matter what period you're in. You need love and friendship for this mission and the courage to believe it! <laughs> All right, Naruto, calm down, buddy. It's all about love and friendship and courage. Count on you guys. Oh my gosh. Love and friendship and all that sounds corny, but everyone seems to be up for it. You think it'll succeed? We'll try. Oh, his leg cramp. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <gasps> We're in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do now. But, uh... Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> That's a lot to take in, man. Wow. Okay. I need to gather my thoughts. Because I know tomorrow... I have most likely D&D, as usual, in the afternoon. And I really want to try to see if I can't beat this game tomorrow night. And just have it be done. <laughs> Looking at all about love, friendship, and courage. Let's eat some ponies while we're at it. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat it tomorrow, but I'm certainly going to try. I'm gonna try. Try to get as far as I can. So. Two streams? Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna get off this damn ship and I'm gonna freaking save it. Cause holy crap. Alright. Well... The poo poo side quest is done. Obel Lake is done. Um, the CC Triple Triad group is done. That side quest was actually really fun. And I got Squall's card. And now we're officially endgame, y'all. <laughs> you do an Omega, right? Right? The fucking emoji, man. <laughs> you got me tripping. I don't think so. Ah, oh, man. It feels so good having all the GFs. Really, really, really does. And I want... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want this. I want Zell. Renault in my party. Yeah, man. Everybody's capped. Check that shit out. That's amazing. Yeah, man. Ooh. Much excite. I could have just used the tent. Oh, well. That works. Wow. 
What's money if it's not meant to be spent? Who cares? Anyways. Also means the enemies are going to be level 100 as well. Yes. Yes. But that's what I get for grinding out all my damn GFs. Why not play this game on hard mode? Shit. <laughs> like, every fucking one is done. They're not learning anything. Everybody's learned everything they can. <laughs> I fucked myself. But it's fine. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Jesus. One, two, three of, of my GFs are level 100. The rest of them are pretty close behind. Hey, Cerberus level 69, let's go. <laughs> the only kind of low level one is Eden, but I literally just got that. But the HP is already capped, that's crazy. Did I get 100 Ultima yet? No. I do plan on maxing out all my strongest spells. We'll see if I can actually do that before tomorrow. We'll see. So much nerdiness? Absolutely. Absolutely. And what should I be doing on those islands? Infinity. Why do you suggest those? I've already done that. I got all the ultimate weapons. Oh, they have special draws? No way. Hey, crew. Thank you so much for that raid, good sir. Ooh. Let's go try to find that before... Before I end. Ooh. Yeah, just walk around and encounter none, and you draw tons of good magics. Ooh. Ooh, okay. 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 Um, island closest to hell is over here. I think it's this one. Is it this one? No. Farther away. Farther away. Ah, looking buff. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Level 100. Shit's nuts. I think I have a uh, draw on somebody. Sure don't. Move find. Move find. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. For Noah. What were you playing, crew? Oh, <gasps> Aura. Oh. <gasps> Hold up. Why am I full? Oh my god, I'm full. All my pages are full. Oh, I already have Aura on Squall. I have 100 Aura on Squall. What about Zell? Let's do exchange. What about float? We don't need float, do we? Just give it all to her. I don't think Zell has Aura at all. Which might be extremely helpful. I must be ready for that disc four. Am I not on disc four yet? Oh, holy shit, that's crazy. Four aura? Wait, what was it? Flare. Oh, I think, I think I have flare on everybody. Yeah, I think, I think all my homies have flare. A hundred flare. How did I do that? Was it the, the, the fucking dragon fangs, maybe? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. I think I was grinding something else, and I just killed a whole bunch of fucking dragons and got a whole bunch of fangs. Flare, flare. Okay, okay, I don't need flare. I'm good. But hell yeah, crew. Can you shout them out for me? Thank you. What were you playing, crew? Wait, what was that? 
Full life? Fuck yeah. Elden Ring. Nice. I'm excited for the DLC. I don't think... More aura? Give it to Zell. Hell yeah, man. I don't think I'm gonna play it on release, but we'll see. I've seen some spoilers for like some of the areas already. Wait, what was that? Holy? I'm gonna give it to Vanilla. It's gonna be some on the tip. Hell yeah, Infinity. Thank you so much for this tip. I didn't even know about this. More holy. Meteor. That's dope. So, crew, have you played Elden Ring before? Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, what was that? Triple? Let's go. You're just getting ready for the DLC. So, have you fought Moog? Wait, what was that? Aura? Hell yeah, man. Aura's gonna be super nice. Super nice. Wait, what was that? Holy? Hey, there's my achievement. Magic Miner. Draw magic 100 times from draw points. I was hoping I was going to be close to that. Wiener, wiener, wiener. Ultima? Ooh. Ultima? Okay, I gotta remember it's in this little corner. Hell yeah, man. How do people find this shit? It's just so wild to me. <laughs> Full life. Ooh. I just don't wanna. Wait, what was that? Meteor? Nice. Only two? Nothing there. Oh, another Ultima. That's bananas. Is it gonna be in the same spot every single time? I doubt it. This is the dopest, coolest thing. And I still have another island, I know. Another Ultima? Holy crap. Or Noah's gonna be cracked. <laughs> Fucking wild, man. Hold on, what was that? Triple? Another triple? I'm so excited right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Should have done this forever ago. I was here so many times. Only two. What's that? Zigging and zagging. There. Nothing there. Okay. What was that? Full life? We love full life. It's so helpful. Flare! Oh, yeah, right. I don't need that anymore. Um, let's go to heaven. We'll go to heaven. Isn't it over here? This one. Right? Nope. This little baby one? Nope. Where the fuck is it? Is it this one? There it is. Hold up, what was that? Aura? Nice. More 
Full life. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm so excited. <laughs> what was that? Quake! <gasps> Damn it. I... Maybe? Right. Right. Okay, I don't need Quake anymore. <laughs> Oh my gosh, make it rain, Infinity. Make it rain. <laughs> Love that. Don't need more flares. Got a hundred on everybody. Tornado. Ooh. What was that? Triple. Nice. <coughs> Tornado. Those naders. Full life. How much full life does this motherfucker have already? 67. Almost a hundo. What was that? Meteor? Okay. I'll take it. More meteor. Don't need flare. Aura. What is he at on Aura? Let's do that. 34? He's only got 34 so far? It's kind of wild to me. I thought he would have more than that. It's fine. Ultima. Now he's got 39. Hmm. Holy... Only two? Cheap. I need to actually rearrange all her crap too, I think. Yeah, man. I keep forgetting that I need to get rid of some of like, the, the first level magics on some homies. I haven't done that yet. Damn, she's almost at 100 ultimas. I don't understand why people hate this fucking game. This game is so much fun. And FML, if you're here, you can suck my ass after a hot steamy poo, you fucking hater. I don't give a fuck. I love this game so much. I agree, Infinity. I agree. Absolutely. Alright, time to go back to hell, I suppose. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. <laughs> Poor X gamer rip and that's okay it's not for everybody but it's like eight gets so much hate and it's definitely it's like every time when I ask somebody who what is your least favorite Final Fantasy nine times out of ten it's always eight like why it's not that bad shit it's my favorite <laughs> it's like either you love it or you hate it and most people hate it <laughs> like, come on, man. That's not fair. Ooh, five triple. Flare? I don't need flare. I can't just grind levels and win. <laughs> I know, right? My poor squall's been level 100 for so long now. Just screwed myself. You like eight better than nine? I actually, I don't know. I liked nine and I beat it for the first time. God, my daughter was like maybe two years old. So it was about six or seven years ago at this point when I beat it for the first time. I, I liked it, it was all right. I really enjoyed having like the accessories be 
what you need to learn abilities and I think it's spells too, right? If I remember right. Yeah, everything. So that's pretty cool. And I love Kina. Kina's cool. <laughs> like one of my favorite characters in Nine. I love Kina and Vivi's the best. He is the goodest boy. R.I.P. To him and all his homies. You think the whole time compression story is a bit convoluted, but you like the characters. Yeah, because it's like all that time compression shit doesn't get really dumped on you until disc 3, right? I would have been fine if they could just let us use MP instead of having to fucking stock up on all that magic just to use it. I mean, and that's what makes 8... 8, you know? The whole using your GFs for their abilities to change monster parts into spells. You know? Either you love it or you hate it. Nothing there. Damn it. Give me Ultima. Yeah, there we go. She should be almost topped up. It's almost as bad as Paladin's Quest on SNES when you use your HP to cast magic. That sounds terrible. And FML, if I can't beat this game tomorrow night, it'll have to be two streams. And if it's not tomorrow night, I wish Sunday wasn't Father's Day because I would stream. But we're going to be busy all day on Sunday. So I have to go to two houses. Because I have a Faja and a Step Faja. <laughs> no. <sighs> I will beat her ass eventually. Nothing there. Bummer. <gasps> Blair, I don't need you. Ding, ding, ding. I want more aura, please. I'm gonna zig and zag across this damn continent, buddy. Gimme. Uh. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, what Funky said. Exactly. there. Nothing there. Aura! That was what I just wanted. How much do you have, homie? 53! What about Renoa and Ultima? 82. Nice. We're getting there. Does Squall even have Ultima? He might not have very many. Oh, he's got a hundred Ultima. How'd I do that? Right. Right. That's what I used it on. Right. Right. Hey, David. Welcome to the stream, bro. How are you? Oh, yeah. I got paid. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Just have Zell uppercut the bitch like 80 times, like I did. You're doing good? That's good. Are you gonna be awake on Sunday for lunch? Luncheon at Coriana? Cause we're gonna be eating. It's gonna be yummy. Alright, back to heaven, I guess. That tiny, tiny little island. It's right here. 
already got the alarm set. Nice. Tornado. Triple. Nothing here. Yeah, yeah. Nothing here. Man, fill up faster, damn it. Quake. I have 100 Quake on everybody. I don't need that shit. I don't need it. It's bullshittery. Ooh, what was this? Hold on. Holy? Renoa. Flare, don't need it. More holy. Oh, it's flare. I don't need that. I don't need it! Oh, <gasps> Ultima. Now she's got 86. That's exciting. More aura for my boy. Ooh, how many does she have now? Oh my god. Ooh, she's getting there. 88. Triple. Nice. Alright, I think you need to move just a little bit. Thank you. Thank God I moved the ship. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. More full life? Nice. Quake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's going by too fast. I feel like the most I've gotten from these draw points is just five. That's like the max. It's five. Tornado. Nice. More tornadoes. Them nighters. I think she's got 92 now. 91. Yeah, I think pretty much everyone's going to be there on Sunday except Evelyn. Giveth upon me power. I appreciate a five stack. Come on, man. <coughs> Bless you. What's the stats looking like? Like junctioned? And Ultima. Squall is cracked out, I'm telling you. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking bananas, man. Full life should be junction to elemental defense. I can change that if you think that's better. Was it holy? I don't know. Did 
Does Squall even have Oli? What the hell? Kiraga, I guess, yeah. Well, I already did it. Nah. I'll do life with spirit. Fuck it. Man, she's the only one that doesn't have a luck junction. Junction. That makes me sad. So you've had your furry girl for six months. Since January. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yup, 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 yup. So what does he not have junction right now? I mean, maybe... I just want to max out some Ultimas. <sighs> Let's go back. See how Holy affects elemental defense? Sure, I can go back. Uh, Squall doesn't even have Holy. Huh. Huh. Well. Time for you to hit the bed at your old age, X-Gamer. So have fun getting things ready for the next to last part of the game. Well, thanks, X-Gamer. I appreciate you chilling and giving me shit like always. Have a good sleep. See you next time. Yeah, oh well. Because once I have a hundred holies on Renoa and Zell, I want Squall to have some holies too. You're pretty sure it gives 80% elemental defense? I'll write a note. Hell yeah, man. I ain't opposed to writing in my journal. So, holy... Yeah, man. I'll try to grind that out before tomorrow. I may or may not have D&D &D tomorrow. We'll see. Still kind of up in the air. Wait, what was that? Meteor? Food laifu. Two player draw points right next to each other? What is this? We like a good triple? Yes, we do. Only two? Stingy. Two? Jesus Christ. Hold on. Huh? 69? I usually grind off screen. Sorry if this is boring. There's more holy. Nice. Four. It's better than two. Got paid again. Yeah. Oh, is she maxed out on Ultima? Oh! She only needs Uno Mas.
was that on my freaking watch? Yeah. Triple, triple, triple. Only one? Fucking garbage? The heck? Oh, that's why. Okay, time to get rid of something that doesn't really matter. Like shell. Give it to somebody else. Like Quisty. You're welcome. Oh, you know what? Let me do that with everybody so everybody can get some full life. Wait, do we need cure? I don't think we even need cure anymore, huh? Damn. That is unfortunate. Everybody's got cure a hundred. Well. Can you dump spells in this game? fire take my fire thank you I'm assuming that was flare another flare we don't need her So tedious, man, but so cool. Oh, <gasps> does she need Ultima anymore now? Is she full? Oh, <gasps> she's full. Oh, my gosh! Hell yeah, man! That's super exciting. Oh, is that what happened? I don't even... Oh, my phone is right here. Hold on. Let's check out this picture of this cute-ass kitty. Who did hella damage on your leg. That's hilarious. Sucks for your leg, but... Damn. Check out that scratch Keiko gave him. <laughs> kind of looks like Funky's leg with Nacho. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah. Yeah... Kittens, man. They'll tear you up. Bye-bye, skin. We don't know her. <laughs> I think everything is kind of exhausted. I'm sure it hurt like a bitch. <gasps> Zell needs Ultima now. Exchange for what? Fire? Absolutely. Hell yeah, man. What is this? Triple. <gasps> Fucking player. Fucking love those ultimate draw points. I'm actually gonna 
risk it and go to Shumi real quick. Just to give these stupid draw points time to fucking reload their shit. Oh, Shumi! Where are you, Shumi Village? I always forget where exactly they are. Yeah, they're kind of northeast of Trebia, huh? It's the island of Trebia. Oh, right! Right, right, right. Thank you. There they are. Always get ass backwards. I have all the money in the world, baby. 5k ain't nothing in to me anymore. Move out the way, fool. Fifteen Ultimas! Holy crap! That's the most I've ever gotten from this draw point. Holy shit, that was worth it. God damn. So glad I came here. <laughs> Shit's bananas. Alright, back to... Bless you. Back to heaven. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. Got a god. Texas... Wait, what? Are you talking about D&D &D now? Got a god texted to me about rules. It says, no joke characters. Lame. Sucks to be you! Wait, what is this? Triple. Go to Zell first. We love full life. Yes, we do. Thank God, more aura. Don't need flare anymore. What is this? Holy. Okay. Meteor for her. Scoop this a little, little bit. How did you, how did you find out about this FML? And why are you interested in D&D &D now? You like roleplay? I just never... I never pegged you for a D&D kind of guy. I always thought that you would think that it was stupid. <laughs> yeah, flare flare. We don't need that. I haven't seen an aura draw point in Pueblo. And finally, Junction Zell with some Ultima. He went to Garrett Public Library where your sister lives and saw a sign for it. That's fair. I hope you do have fun. Just don't be a douchebag, and everything will be fine. Oh. Aw. There you go. Getting yourself out there. Proud of you. Friendship! <laughs> Did he tell you that personally? Funky? Wait, Did he tell you that personally? Oh, he mentioned it in his stream. Oh, I gotcha. Or, no, he mentioned it in my stream. Because it wasn't in mine. It was in my He's stream. trying to, like, look stream. up chat and be like, he didn't say that shit to me. It was earlier in my stream. I gotcha. Don't need flare, don't need flare anymore. Current party has a barbarian, paladin, druid, and two rogues. Um, are you a healer? You could be a cleric. 
And honestly, I think they would be okay with you being whatever the hell you want to be. I don't think it would be stupid. I'm quite attached to my character now. She almost died last session. And I was very scared. Very scared. <laughs> Some sort of mage. Sorcerer is pretty fun. Just be careful where you throw your fireballs because they are AoE. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that with this wall. Yes, I did. Does everybody else have a hundred holy already? Yes. He's got a hundred holy. I'm assuming Renoa does too now. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Yay. That's exciting. Okay, let's see. Now that Squall has a couple holies under his belt. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I need more. Maybe if I have 100 holies for Squall, then the elemental defense will be 80% if I put it in there. I could, but I thought he was just specifically saying for Squall. Let's try it. Then. Hundred percent against holy, but twenty nine percent against all the other elements. Yeah. So not eighty percent. It's more like fifteen because his life is doing something too. Should I take life off? Well, it's at sixty seven percent right now. Yeah. Well, that means ults in the... How many ults do you have? For Zell? Yeah. That is a good question. 38, I think? Because well, I just... That answers, your, that answers the question. Ultima is the one that makes you 100% immune to all the elements. Well... Or 80%, maybe. So it's not holy, but Ultima? There's so much, like, science. <laughs> well, it depends on how you want to do your build, really. I guess, yeah. You make yourself hella strong, or make yourself hella immune to stuff, or whatever, you know? It's kind of fun. Yeah. Meteor. Man, he still doesn't have a hundred aura yet. Come on, man. Are there more attributes than fire, water, air, and earth? Have you played Final Fantasy before, FML? Come on, man. Just looking at it, there's eight of them. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, talking about D&D. &D. Um, honestly, in my playthrough, I haven't come across more than that, but I guess it also depends on what your DM's world is, because my brother DM's our d, d playthrough, we have uh, dark, fire, ice, light, War. There's a sixth one. If 
thought I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Yay, more aura. What is he at now? It. Ooh, he's almost 100. Yay! Oh, a happy day! Man, I have sucked these draw points dry. He's 96 aura now. Ooh. Everything but flare, because I don't need flare. Shit! Guess we can scooch it. Nice. Oh, <gasps> is he Hundo? Or Aura now? He is! That's so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. I think Renoa is the only one now that needs aura. She's the only one that has pain. I might be lying. Okay. All right, we're on a mission for Zelda to have a hundred Ultima. Because he's the only one left that doesn't have a hundred Ultima. And then Renoa needs a hundred Aura. And I think I'll be Gucci. Oh yeah, full life too. Full life for Renoa. Shit, I didn't mean to give that to her. Fuck. I'm still drawing? Hell yeah, I am. Still here. I meant to stop like 30 minutes ago, but here I am. Man, you know, hold on. Let's do life recovery. No, not that one. No more space, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I'm trying to get her another slot, damn it. There. Shit. Okay, I need to I need to call it because it's already past 1230 and I'm tired. <laughs> but tomorrow, um, we're going to Ultimecia's castle. How exciting is that? Disc Hi. disc four, here we come. <laughs> Endgame hype. 